started early. <laughs> Push the wrong button. Welcome, welcome. Jupiter smiled on us this week, and we have a special guest as well. Are you ready? Enchanted One, welcome to Spirit Throw Me a Bone, your spiritual lifestyle channel, where every week we come together to cultivate our connection with the enchanted universe and coax spirit to throw us a bone. And we do this in three ways. First of all, we create sacred space and we signal our intention to receive gifts from spirit. Second, we flex our enchantment muscles and we consult the oracles of astrology and the tarot and other divinatory tools. And third, we welcome young self. And with a beginner's mind, we explore all manner of metaphysical and consciousness raising topics. And as I mentioned tonight, we have our special guest, Patty E, who I'm very excited to introduce you to in a few minutes. But first, you know what we do here on Spirit Throw Me a Bone? We create sacred space together. So snuggle up next to your altar. You don't have an altar? Well, just make one. Put something sacred on that table right next to you. Light a candle. Just maybe grab a few special objects. Whatever it is that signals to spirit that you are entering special sacred time. This is your time. This is sacred time. Welcome back. So we're going to create sacred space together. And we do this by imagining a blue light encircling ourselves in the physical space that we occupy now. And as we do that, I'll be calling the directions and the four elements, but also imagine that blue light encircling all of us together in virtual sacred space during our time together this evening. Okay, you ready? Let's get started. Well, my 
handle. Let me grab a new one here. Okay, here we go. By the air that is her breath, welcome east. By the fire of her bright spirit, welcome south. By the waters of her living womb, welcome west. And by the earth that is her body, welcome north. As above, so below, we are in sacred space. Well, how'd that go? <laughs> Are you guys snuggled up now next to a candle or something special? Snuggled up next to your put together altar, either put together tonight or put together, I don't know, maybe you keep it up like I do. Or maybe you just weren't in the mood to do an altar and you just kicked back and took a deep breath and that's all it takes. Here we are together in sacred space, guys. And I am so excited because tonight, tonight, we are going to be joined by Miss Patty E. And before I bring her on camera, I'm going to introduce you to her. Patty Elise. I hope I got that right. AKA Patty E. A multi passionate spiritual gangsta who dabbles in the world as a podcast personality and soon to be as a live streamer sharing curated self mastery knowledge through the power of storytelling she connects and serves as a soul seekers guide helping those to unlock the doors and discover their inner truth by enlightening the mind energizing the heart and elevated the soul to live a more purpose Full life. She is in the midst of creating a sacred cyber soul space called the Zenergy Zone, which will be birthed in 2021. Welcome, Patty. Hola. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. All you beautiful, beautiful enchanted beings. Brenda, thank you for the honor of inviting me here to share this uh, sacred cyber space with each and every one of you. And I'm looking forward to having, you know, setting that intention as we open up, oh, up, oh. <laughs> setting that intention. I know I froze. I was all excited. I froze. I gotta let it go now. <laughs> and uh, setting the intentions and, you know, sharing some good juju vibes for all that are, that are watching so that they all receive right. any messages that they need to receive this evening. So, well, great to be here. Let's get started soon, but let's say hi to, hi to folks here. Yeah. Let's say hi to a couple of people. Well, look who's here. Miss Jax is here. Yeah. Comments. I'll put them right there. Hello, yeah. Jax. So glad you joined us. Hi, Jax. And here is Robin. Why is Robin not coming up here? There we go, Robin. Hi, Robin. Good to see you. And I'm happy that you're happy to be here. We're happy that you're happy to be here, Robin. <laughs> Do we have Teresa with us tonight as well? And hello, Julie. Welcome. Joyner. Oh, Julie. Yeah, Julie. Julie. <laughs> Julie. Julie. Yes, Julie. Join uh, Roche. I grew Roche. up with Julie. Roche. Oh, uh, hi, Julie. Friends on the planet. Woo woo. Really? Let's so see. What, what do you think here? What are you saying, Jax? Don't forget to like and share, Brenda. <laughs> rock. Yes. Thank Aww. you very much. Thank <laughs> like you, Jax. Like and share. Subscribe. Like and share. Like, like and share. Uh, yeah, Jax has to remind me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Susan, candle and a fire in the fireplace. Yay. Mm -hmm. I actually have a fireplace back there, but I don't light it because I have my drums in front of it. 
and it doesn't work. (laughs) 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 Oh, there we go. Hi, Kathleen. And here's my muse. Hey, hey, hey. Say hi to Patty, too, Rev Rob. Hi, Rob. (laughs) Hey, everybody. All right, so what are we talking about now here, Jax? How could I miss my two favorite people? Aww. What is football anyway? <laughs> yeah, some people are watching. Football. <laughs> Sunday night football. Forget. Throw your spirit through me. Oh, you know. oh, my beautiful soul sisters. Yes, I'm in the house. And Excellent. so, Excellent. yes, Teresa's with us too. Yay. And here is my friend, Kathleen Kelly. What? I'm what? Space. Your I'm furnace hungry. went out, so I'm nice and cozy with your space heater. Oh my gosh, it's such a cold oh. night to not have your furnace. Oh. I hope that's a powerful space heater. I bring some nice warm from Florida. From Florida. From Florida. Yeah, rub, <laughs> nice it in, warm. rub it in. Nice warm. 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 <laughs> hi, hi, Rob. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I chastise him for not saying hi to you as well. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So, Patty, yes, we have, well, we have our fun little game we're going to play. Yes, we do. We do. We have a fun little game we're going to play. Um, it'll be fun. But why don't we just start by way of an introduction, um, mm-hmm. other than the introduction that I read. Okay. Why don't you just um, share with all of our enchanted ones, like, your spiritual journey like when did you oh. realize is that you were that you connected with spirit that you know you were on this yes. journey start yes. from the beginning yes oh goodness okay okay so i would say it would have started about 15 years ago and um it was okay so let me kind of pre- preference it i'm first generation colombian american and so parents are both from Columbia, South America. I was born in Brooklyn, New York. And of course, every, every parent wants the best education, the best life for their, um, oops, where'd I go? I did that. I did that. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, they always want their best education and, you know, following, you know, cultural conditioning, cultural things of giving the best education. So I did everything that a good little Catholic Spanish school girl should do, you know, be good, do your studies, make your parents proud, get your education. And then once that's all said, get your career, get married, have children and yada, 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 live happily ever after, so to speak. Okay. That's the typical conventional, whatever everyone thinks you're supposed to do. So I did everything that I was supposed to do. And I have have a question. question. Yeah. Did you go to Catholic Catholic school? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> more about that later. <laughs> yeah, more about that later. Yes. So, cat school, high school, everything. And so, uh, like I said, I got the best education. I'm very grateful for all that my parents had provided for me. Uh, so that could be the woman that I am today. And um, so I did everything I, that I was supposed to do. And then all of a sudden, I got married to my high school sweetheart because I wasn't allowed to have any boyfriends. So, like, the first love of my life is the first man because my my husband and we were together about 15 years and then after 15 years he decided to seek outside of the relationship and devastated my world <laughs> so because i was like that's not supposed to happen what's what's this i'm so i'm a good wife i'm a good daughter i'm a, you know that's i kept thinking about all that but again what i did not know at that time was that every one of us has our own spiritual journey i was clueless about You know, we were all about like, you complete me and your soulmate and your whole, you know, supposed to live happily ever after to the point I had a Disney fairy tale wedding. Okay. Just like a little Cinderella to Walt Disney World, the most beautiful, magical wedding I could possibly, any girl could imagine. So I was thinking happily ever after. (laughs) Well, when life, you know, throws you, you know, the universe shakes you in order to awake you. That's when I literally was awoken. (laughs) And that's where my spiritual journey began, because I literally had to lift myself from the ashes and rise like a phoenix to be who I am today. And that's how my spiritual journey began. And then I just 
because I'm a natural soul seeker, I'm someone that I just need to know why. And as long as I can understand why, then I can process and accept it for what it is. But if I might, but, but what? But, but. So because I'm a soul seeker, that's how I started my soul seeking path and journey to just finding answers and just reading books. And, and especially so funny today, um, or six years ago, the Toltec wisdom with uh, Don Miguel Reese Jr. with the four agreements, everything about Toltec wisdom, Toltec wisdom literally I won't say saved me, I think yoga saved me, but everything all in general of knowing what the, the, the hero's journey was about, you know, the Joseph Candle hero's journey. And so that's what started me on my path and allowed me to just go each direction and open my eyes, enlighten myself with, ah, we're here to have, you know, is it, we're spiritual beings having a human experience and that each and every one of us has a, a purpose and that when things happen to us, it is happening for us, not to us. And understanding what what life is all about. Like what what's our journey? What's our destiny? So that's where it all kind of started. Okay, so here's my question. Yeah. So when did you or have you veered away from Catholicism? I veered away. Oh, oh, that when I was married. <laughs> I'll never forget it. It was, I will, it was, could you imagine in Catholics, midnight mass is the most sacred mass that you could possibly, you know, midnight mass, the, you know, the birth of Jesus and the whole thing. It was a midnight mass and I was with my in-laws at the time. No, 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 I stand corrected. I was still married with my husband and it was midnight mass and the priest comes in and usually for those that are not Catholic, the first thing that a priest does once he comes to the altar, he does the blessing. And, you know, so here comes this priest. <laughs> he turns around, he looks at the band and he's like, say, hey, sounds good, sound check, sound great, you know, lighting good. Then he looks out to the, to the congregation, he goes, wow, look at all the seasonal Catholics up tonight. And I was like, we're like, what? <laughs> yeah, season of Catholics, because apparently that's the only time when it's full, you know, otherwise right. people, you know, right. so we're like, okay, all right, that's okay. And then at that time, there was something going on about, there was a controversy about the nativity scene and the whole Christ and Christmas and X, like this whole thing was happening. And then he started going off on that tangent and he still hadn't blessed us yet. And then he goes, and for those of y'all that did not get married in the church, y'all living in sin. And at that point, <laughs> again, we haven't had the blessing yet, okay? You know, and it wasn't like he had a couple of wines before he came on, you know, to the altar. Sounds like he had a couple he, of scotches or something. <laughs> people got up and walked out of midnight mass. Wow. It was an exodus more than, you know, exodus itself, you know, the parting of the Red Seas and the Israelites, you know, <laughs> and that's when at first I'm like, OK, must have been a bad night. We came back for Easter and it was almost kind of the same situation again. And I know there's a bad apple, not a bunch of it, but it just got to the point where I even refused to get married in a Catholic church. That's why I ended up getting married at Disney instead of at a Catholic church. But that's another story, because I find marriage very sacred. It's a sacred situation. So it has nothing to do with the building and the incense or the cross above the, the roof. It was very sacred for me. And I wanted to feel that I was going to be honest and sacred and create that sacred space for the sacrament of marriage that to stand before the altar of God with a priest that barely knows the couple for hypocritical reasons for, you so, know. So you said, so, well, I'm going to get married and I'm going to Disneyland. It's actually Disney World, Disney Orlando. World. <laughs> and this is this is the funny part because the Archbishop of Orlando, Orange County, okay, would not give permission for any of the priests to perform at the Disney Chapel because they wanted the money at the church and not for Disney. But if I paid for a priest to come from Palm Beach County to come up and marry us, oops, I froze again. Okay, here we go back. If I were to pay a priest to come from Palm Beach County to marry us in, in Disney, that'd be okay. 
a lot of politics. And that's why I'm like, that's it. I was done with Catholicism at that point to answer your question. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we need to say hello to another reformed Catholic here. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. No offense. Hi, <laughs> <I> Janet. <laughs> I hope you don't don't mind me calling you out as a reformed Catholic. No. <laughs> I kind of like to call myself now a mystic Christian, where JC is still my man. <laughs> it's just like the organic version. I want the organic version of the JC's, you know, right. words and not the whole in between. That's just for me, but I respect everybody else's beliefs. Hi, Aaron. Aaron's with us too. So, Hi, Patty. so Patty at the um you know, the church that Rob and I and Janet um, uh, belong to the Institute for Spiritual Development, we refer, we consider JC to be our brother. So he's, uh, okay, he's gotcha. our brother, our brother. Yeah. Jay, right? yeah. We're all yeah. sons and daughters of God. So that there means he's go. my brother. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so I can just imagine what the comments are talking about. I know, I know, I know. I'm only I don't just saying anything looking through them here are you looking through facebook or youtube um well you can get both here on ecam so oh, okay all right yeah yeah so i i think janet is um saying same with me meaning that she shared similar experiences yeah yeah but, okay yeah. guys so um all right so we're gonna play a little game all right and so we're gonna spin the wheel <laughs> and um we're all gonna play but patty is gonna get the stage so you know patty she oh. loves the stage i'm just gonna give her the stage I, I i love the stage but i i'm willing to share it with patty tonight so. oh. <laughs> here we go i love so, this so cool. all right so we got ourselves a little spin the wheel game wait wait what you ready go <laughs> What's it there? What? Oh, so here's a question for you, Patty. Oh, when was the last time I cried? Yeah, Wednesday night, the inauguration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just was like, <laughs> that's what I cried. Literally, that was you the last did. time. A couple okay. days ago, Wednesday, 20, 20th of January. <laughs> So inauguration this, night. What brought what what was there an artist that came along that brought you to tears or no? Just the whole living in history, just watching yeah. history unfold beyond before my eyes and a breath I, and I seeing do. you know so many glasses ceilings being broken and and just just everything. It was just so emotional. It was just the journey and just how. We've already been through the dark night of the soul. Right. And how we're now are on the other side. Well. To now continue, we right? Are. So I know, I know, but oh, but at yeah. least, you know, but 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 the thing was we were in a very we ha there was a lot of things we all needed to look at each other. So the dark night of the soul. That's what I was referring to. Right, right. Well, you know, I'm in my little um tease opening when I said, you know, Jupiter smiled on us. Um you know, the astrology has been like crazy all during 2020 and then the early part of 2021 and the events of the six and stuff like that. But, you know, mm -hmm. Jupiter came, Jupiter came around, um, in such a way more dignified, um, than the planet has been, you know, mm -hmm. it, for the past months. Now mm -hmm. he's no longer in the sign of Capricorn. So he's, he's feeling stronger and he's just more able to be the, you know, benevolent, Mm -hmm. um you know wise growth oriented planet that he is um and he is in the sky with saturn who kind of wants to put right. the on things but he's in like a superior what's called a superior position mm -hmm. uh, overcoming um position so he's kind of got the upper hand a little bit on saturn mm -hmm. if anyone ever has the upper hand on saturn so i think that's what i meant by what i said Jupiter gotcha. smiled on us this week so i think that he really took the sting out of a lot of what yeah. happened around the inauguration because right. we because a lot of us were thinking that you know was going to be more of the same you know yeah I yeah mean, everyone was worried about it okay so yeah. there you go that's the first question awesome. that's ready the first to spin again wait 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> Describe my most recent dream. Yeah, like your nighttime dream. I have to answer all the questions you're not going to share? Well, people people can put, uh, yes, folks, enchanted ones, please, you know, if you feel called to answer the question, put it in the, put it in the chat and we'll, um, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll share those as well, but go ahead. My most recent dream. Or one that you can just remember. Actually, yeah, I, I have really, a really cool one. I, I, I do keep a dreams dictionary in a dreamer's journal. And I can recall call certain dreams even when I was 16 as if it was like a scene of a movie. And one I will never forget, I was reading a, um, a book and right before I was sleeping and it was telling me, it was describing, it was a creative book about cre how to create your world, a creative mind. There we go, I froze again. <laughs> so, um, so I was reading like, like patterns of how to be able to create your world, so to speak, create, create your future, so to speak. So I fell asleep and sometimes I meet people in my dreams as if I meet them in real life, like they're real people, but they're not really real people, but they're like real people. And I remember one time I saw this beautiful elderly lady. She was just so gorgeous. You know, when you see that, the, the wisdom, just a beautiful, she was just a beautiful woman. And I remember saying to her in Spanish, I said, What's your name, beautiful one? And I'll, if she leads back and she has a shawl. Oh, there it goes. Nice frozen again. I don't know why I keep freezing, but <laughs> okay, there we go. And she puts a shawl around, around her. She goes, Rosa de la Vida, which means Rose of Life. And it struck me that she said this, and I woke up. I'm like, Rosa de la Vida, Rosa de la Vida, Rosa de la Vida. So I Google Rosa de la Vida, and only one video shows up for that search one this is a woman in spain so i decide to watch the video i swear to you i kid you not the girl in the video random video starts describing exactly what i read out of the book before i went to bed <laughs> And it wasn't like as you know, like we were, if we were to say like you know a certain method and it's just a coincidence. No, no, no. It was like totally two separate things, but it came in full circle from something I was di you know digesting subconsciously before going to bed. Then this lady says to me, "Rosa de la vida," and then I Google it, and it's just one video, and this lady in Spain does this random YouTube video. Speaking of the topic that I had just finished reading from the book that I was reading. Well, somebody wanted you to get that message. Yeah. So I just thought it was like the coolest, weirdest experience, you know? Um, so that's one that's for, that I'll never forget. And, and Rosa de la Vida, Rose of Life, the Rose of Life. So I've always, and I see her and every now and then she comes to my dreams and she says hello. She must be one of your guides. She must be. Yeah. She yeah. must be. Yeah. Maybe but I never forget she's such a beautiful Rosa de la Vida, Rose of Life. Yeah. So yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. So do you want to hear my big dream? Yes. You know, the, the Native Americans talk about people have big dreams, like, mm -hmm. you know, maybe one or two or three mm -hmm. in their lives that are just really profound dreams. Mm -hmm. Okay. So some, some people have heard this story because <laughs> I've only had one big dream and I tell lots of people about it. But uh -huh. um, so this was like, I'm going to say this must have been like 2017, like right around the time that, um, I, I like really relaunched myself on my spiritual journey. It was when I had just become really involved at ISD. Um, and I was just starting to push myself in a way to, to do things more creatively and be more out there mm -hmm. and take more risks. And so, <laughs> So I, I had this dream that I was outside walking beneath my deck and underneath my deck on the, like, you know, the eaves, they're often spider webs. Mm -hmm. And so I'm walking up underneath there in my dream and I look up and I see a spider web and I go, Hmm, well, there's a spider in the spider web and I see the spider 
And then I see a mouse come into the picture, into the web. And I'm like, oh, shoot, that mouse is going to get it. That mouse is going to get it. He's going to get it. No, 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 no. And so sure enough, the spider wraps it up, you know, and the mouse uh -huh. is going. How, how is that, Brenda? How is that? Going, how is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, yeah. Right. And so, like, I feel bad for the mouse. It's like, oh, little mouse. But huh? I'm also kind of enthralled by the fact that, you know, the spider is, like, wrapping it up. Right. So then the dream kind of morphs. And then I'm in this. It's kind of like a cave. But it's like a really dark, torch lit room temple like kind mm -hmm. of thing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i'm standing back here and then sort of up on a platform there's nothing else in the room but up on the platform there's there's a young woman standing there and she's standing you know like sideways so i see her profile mm -hmm. but i see like her whole body she's standing there she's barefoot she's wearing like sort of like a uh, animal skin vest uh -huh. Uh -huh. a long animal skin plane you know mm -hmm. um skirt skirt she has dark hair, like sort of in a loose braid. She's beautiful, mm -hmm. you know, dark skin. Indigenous, very indigenous. Yeah. Like, and so yeah. she's looking down at the ground and at her feet is the mouse. And she's got this look on her face, like this look of like, wow, look what I just did. You know, like really like pleased with herself. Uh huh. And she doesn't see me. And she's looking down at the mouse. And so here I am standing like lower on the, you know, like one step down the right. way, like maybe 30 feet. And I, and I just start going like this. You start clapping to her like that. Bravo. Started clapping like that. And uh -huh. she, she, she looks up kind of a little bit surprised to see me. Uh -huh. And then she turns to me uh -huh. and she starts walking towards me. And she's uh -huh. got kind of this smile on her face and she walks right in through you. you. Right through you. Ah, and like right, right before she walked right into me, I realized that's me. She's me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just got a chill. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that's intense. Spider woman. Spider woman. Spider Did she come back to you? Did she come back? No, she hasn't nope. come back. But, you know, no. um, the spider animal totem is all about creativity. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Weaving your oh, web yeah. and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. And like, I I did, couldn't really figure it out for a while, like what the mouse meant and stuff. But um, uh, one of my spiritual mentors, Joe Mancini, and we were talking and uh, he said, well, what is a mouse? A mouse is kind of mousy, you know, like mm -hmm. doesn't have, doesn't want to. Oh, too bad I have, I have a book. It's about spiritual animals. We have a spiritual animal book. Um, no, I always just Google it. I hear the one that Ted, whatever does animal speak is the best one. I, I think that, it. yeah. Oh, I wish I would have known that. I would have had it with me. I have my spirit. Yeah, actually. I, I just Google things yeah. all the time. Yeah. I, no, I actually have a spirit, a spirit. So whatever, sometimes com something comes up, I immediately look up my book. Like, what does this mean? Like when they come up, I'm like, okay, this is a message. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are you here, here to tell me? Here's Ready? what, uh, Christina, oh. the sleep lady says, your dreams reveal your wishes in life. Your wishes in life. Sometimes, yeah, like sometimes they yeah. <laughs> reveal your fears. <laughs> yeah, I would say. That's true. I would say. Yeah, that's true. Okay, all right. We ready for another question? All uh, ready, 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 go. go. <laughs> Is it? Is it? How are you? Oh, how would my best friends describe me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How would you describe me? How Brenda? No, no, no. It's for you. <laughs> no, I say this is always your best friends. I have best friends. I have amazing best friends. You're now my best friend. What would you, how would you describe me? But yeah, I remember I was my, actually for my recent birthday, one of my dearest friends, which love her to death. Uh, and she brought me these, she, she sent me these most beautiful exotic flowers for my birthday, for my 50th birthday. And I, and I couldn't describe them. I had to take the picture. I'm like, I go, these are the most incredibly, most beautiful, most exotic flowers I've ever seen. And then she goes, that's because you're an exotic girlfriend anyway. <laughs> you're exotic. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, thanks. So exotic is that would describe me. Uh, one of the common words that come out is bubbly. 
Yes, you have a bubbly yes. personality. I'm very yes. bubbly. Uh, my Korean students call me, I have happy virus, happy virus. I share happy virus because of my positivity. A happy that's virus. How that's so right, happy virus, yeah. Oh, you have happy virus. I'm like, yes, I have happy <laughs> virus. Because <laughs> they're not used to, you know, bubbly, outgoing personalities in their culture. Um, um, yeah, kind, loyal, dependable, uh, unique. <laughs> Uh, yeah, those are kind of the words that they describe me. <laughs> Spicy. <You> ready? <laughs> All right, ready? What? What's that there? Oh, what do I binge watch? What well, or who or? I don't watch TV, but, and I kind of revealed this in the leader group. If I have to literally sit and have a binge watch, it's Ancient Aliens <laughs> from the History Channel. <laughs> I love Ancient Aliens <laughs> because I love when they start talking about, you know, the temples and the things of the earth and ancient cultures and how did they, you know, where did it come from? Like, I just, I get sucked into that rabbit hole and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. So if I were to binge watch something, I'm like, I'm just going to admit it. I love Ancient Aliens. So well, I like that show. What is that? Who is that race? That ancient alien race? Anunnaki? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? Yeah, well, it, it, there's different topics. And what I find fascinating uh, with Toltec wisdom that I liked about, um, you know, the... Uh, Domingo Reeves Jr. with the Four Agreements and Toltec Wisdom, and it's the biggest sun pyramid called Teotihuacan. Oh, we have ancient aliens in the loop. Yay, Robert! Yay! <laughs> You're my peeps! Yay! Um, when you talk about, when you think of like all the different pyramids around the world, they all line up. Like, it, like how? How could they possibly all line up perfectly? around the world, you took all the different temples from the Incas to the Mayas to the Egyptians, to like they all, if you were to put a, a string around it, they all line up perfectly. They're not even off by a degree or anything like that. So if we were to do the pyramids right. of Egypt, Giza to the pyramid to Teotihuacan, perfect alignment. And it's just, it's just too fascinating. So I get geeked out with that stuff. So ancient aliens. Okay. <laughs> it's like geek out show. Okay. Ready for the question? <laughs> what about you? What do you binge watch? Well, I, you know, I change. Um, <sighs> let me think. I don't, Sex in the city. I don't. I don't <laughs> yeah. No. Sex in the city. Um. I don't watch TV much. I I just spend more time reading, learning, developing. Yeah. I'm more into that than watching TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I guess the last thing that we kind of been binge watched, my husband Joe and I, was um, on Netflix, um, The Queen's Gambit. I don't know if you guys are familiar have, with that. It's I a story have, about this female chess player. I heard so, about it. Yeah, I heard yeah, that was yeah, phenomenal. Yeah, so watched that. We binge watched that. And then... Um, I haven't even watched Game of Thrones. Yeah, me I haven't either. even seen it. Okay, good. Oh. <laughs> Yay! But you, okay, know, good. you know what? I, I do spend a lot of time, though, on YouTube, like binge watching. Like now, yeah. I'm, I'm really interested in um, um, learning this thing called Rome research, which is this um, second mind kind of application that you use. That okay. it's an app that where you can, like, it's got binary. Um, mm -hmm. Funny, uh -huh. connections Funny or code. whatever so right. like you Funny just code, open up right. a page that's like dated and then you put right. a topic and then that connects to like another piece of the topic and oh, awesome. like, I, I'm not doing a very good job of explaining it no um, no, no I didn't really like talking yeah I get you I got you I feel I know I'm what always I'm reading and learning things and then I go back because I want to write something or you know I, I'm you know 
I'm presenting something, you know, mm-hmm. I, I want to offer something to the community about the dark moon mm-hmm. or, you know, I'm doing a service, like I'm doing a service this Sunday and it's um, the day before Imbolc. So, you know, I have all this information on Bridget and Candlemas and, awesome. and, and, you know, the Celtic goddess and like, it's all over uh-huh. 50 million different places. So like, if wow. I, you know, and I've got like six books and so, yeah. it's, you know, I figure if I can get this application old. working really mm-hmm. well you know spend the time to learn it and then build database then that'd right. be golden you know because yeah. like you, you awesome. can you can link it to like kindle and stuff wow you know, where you might highlight like big passages of books and all that so mm-hmm. anyway so awesome. that's, i'm kind of awesome. binge watching that when i do. yeah awesome yeah but i'm curious tend to, I, to I learn. tend to binge watch like things that i'm learning about right right like, those are just See? like spiritual junkies or spiritual junkies <laughs> <laughs> Or, well, or tech junkies. Tech junkies, yeah, that's yeah. true. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. I love this. This is so cool. It's a nickname. It's energy girl. It's energy girl? It's a nickname. It's energy girl. Okay. Look, did you have a nickname as a child? Yes, I did, but it's in Spanish. Well, what is it? Cabezona. Cabezona. Okay. And it okay. translates to, it tra- <laughs> because when I was born in the 70s, I was a very big baby of then the average baby that was C-section because I had to make my own entrance. I didn't want to go the natural way because I got to do it my way. <laughs> so I came in, ta-da! I had to come in this way. So um, it translates to big headed, like pumpkin head. Big head. <laughs> <laughs> So I have this big pumpkin head. I'm like my head is bigger than my body. So cabezona. cabezona well, no, I didn't even offer that as your nickname. But... Cabezona. That's my that's my Spanish nickname. Cabezona. My dad even to this day. Cabezona. Yes, daddy. Oh yeah, yeah. I got a I got a child like that. Yeah. Big head. Only, only I, I was top I was top heavy. I was top heavy when I was a little kid. You know. <laughs> a big pumpkin head. Cabezona. She big headed. In many ways, it went. Yeah. Okay, so do you blame your mother or your father for the big head? Which one? Blame both of them. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I think I have my dad's head. Yeah, I think I have my dad's pumpkin head. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think I'm more. Yeah, I think my dad's pumpkin head. Well, one of my daughters, who we shall not name. Oh, okay. Has her father's head. Has <laughs> her father's head. head. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, secret safe. What about yours? What's your nickname? Boo. What's your name? Boo. B O O. Like. Oh. Boo. Brenda Boo. Brenda Boo. Oh. All right. So I also had Peppermint Patty but, when I was yeah, like, unattended. Like Call me Peppermint Patty. Peppermint Patty because yeah. I create the sensations. And then, <laughs> and then also Trox because my main Trox. Name is Trox. Right. So Trox. T R O X Trox. Uh, but, yeah. Boo. Well, my, my former married name. <laughs> Uh, sounded like the escape song. So when I was a flight attendant, all the ground crew and the pilots used to always sing my married name like the escape song. Do you know what the escape song is? No. Everyone knows it as the pina colada song. If you like pina colada, don't get it called in the escape song. It's actually called the escape oh. because it was the escape, but everyone knows it as the pina colada song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my my former married name was Galata, so my name was like Patty Galata, and I would say Patty Pina Galata. So I would say, oh, if you oh, like oh, Patty Galata, <laughs> getting <laughs> caught in the race, so people would call me Patty, you know. So they would sing that 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 name. <laughs> okay. I that was how I was like Patty Galata. That was my. But I'm glad I had my Elise back. So <laughs> Patty, that's a beautiful name, Elise. Thank yeah. you, thank you. French. That's why some people like. Are you, is that your married name? Like, no, it's my maiden name because they would expect like Lopez, Gutierrez, you know, Martinez. <laughs> so I don't, <laughs> I don't have the Spanish name. So it's like, no, Elise. <laughs> like the Sean's Elise. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's check out these. Uh, I want to check in with the comments. Canted community. See? Yeah. What do they want to share? Okay. So here Kathleen is. How I remember Brenda Boo. Brenda. I can Aww. hear your mother Tommy Troxler calling you that now. Aww, how sweet. Brenda yeah. Boo. So, yeah, Kathleen 
Kathleen um, was my sister's maid of honor. So. Oh, you really got really great connections. Are you still taking Are you still taking pictures? She was a great photographer back then. I'm sure. Aww. Um, there was a lovely comment about you. I wanted to find it. See if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, so. My friend Patty. Julie. Patty, you are so full of life and you have a young girl. This was, I think, during the discussion of how did your friends describe you. Uh, are you sure it's not the light that you're seeing? <laughs> the aura. <laughs> the yellow orange light. <laughs> not so much. Not as much. Girl, get back to in your photography. That's a good creative outlet, right? Yes. Yes. Right? Or did you, did you, Kathleen, not make the switch from film to digital or I don't know. Seems like you might enjoy picking it up again. I don't know. I'm sure you've got lots of other things keeping you busy, maybe. Do the, do, uh, the audience have any questions that they want to ask that's not on the wheel? Is there anybody want to ask a certain question to yeah. you or to me? See if they want to ask me any we, questions. We can we can call this the, you know, there's some live, <laughs> no, no, some live streamers call it like an AMA episode. Uh -huh. and, and I was thinking of like billing this as an AMA episode. Which is when ask I think of me AMA, anything. I think of against medical advice. I know. I know. Ask me anything. <laughs> but it says or ask me anything. And so, as long as it's not my social security number and my phone number. <laughs> right, right. So, uh, yeah, so throw in some questions and throw me a just, bone. Throw me a bone, spirit. Throw me a bone. Give me some questions. Throw me a bone. <laughs> we, have, we have a related question here. Like we that. do? Let's, okay. Let's see if we can get it to come up. You okay. Ready? One, two, three. Here we go. You're going to spin? Oh, okay. Do, do, do. <laughs> I love this. This is so cool. We already saw that one. We already that one. Okay, we go again. Okay. One, two, three. Who is the person? Oh, well, duh. <laughs> what was it? Who's the Who was the? Who's the last person the, you said I love you to? Oh my dad! Every night when I kiss him to bed at night. Oh. Every single time, because I'll never know if that's the last time. So I want to make sure that if it ever happens, I had a chance to say it. Yeah. So tell us about your dad real quick. Yeah. My dad is a retired architect. He is 93 young years old. <laughs> um, he, uh, he they, My parents came into the U.S. in the 1950s. And again, from Brooklyn, New York. And he was one of the many architects that was on the team of building the World Trade Center. Wow. And uh, yeah, so when September 11 happened, it was just, you know, sweet how he was in his mind. Like he knew all, you know, the ground, everything. And he was hoping and he was just hoping that they would because he knew that building, you know, the whole thing and how that was constructed. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yes, retired architect. And then he came to Florida because of uh, health reasons. It was better weather down here because of New York with the pollution and the cold. So um, then that's, you know, I was basically raised most of my years here because I was the last of three. And uh, he did um, uh, residential mansions in Palm Beach. So, uh, so man, and he retired as an architect with residential, you know, architecture. So those, most buildings in Palm Beach, you know, he's kind of been part of the whole construction of the skyline of West Palm Beach and Palm Beach. So how about, yeah. is it Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach? <laughs> I'm literally five miles away from it. I'm less than five miles away from Mar Largo. I thought you were in Orlando. No, no, I was in Orlando for 20 years. I'm down in West Palm oh, taking care Christina's of my Christina's in Orlando. Yeah, Christina's in Orlando. She's my soul sister in Orlando. Yes, I miss oh. my O town. Okay. Okay. Any questions? No, I don't see any new questions. No questions. Um, so you and I have something in common in that. Uh -oh. What? No, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> that we have um, elderly fathers that we, well, I don't caretake him because I'm, he's in Denver, but I do. Sometimes I go out there and I caretake him. Okay. Lucky you. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, really? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, 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 I'm blessed. I can't complain. I can't complain. No, I know what it's. 
I, I know it. Yeah, yeah. We've had this discussion before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm happy. Like I said, I, I had my mom and like things happen for a reason. I, like everything is in divine order and I cannot complain. And I honestly, if I were to redo it all over again, this is exactly how I would do it. So I am, I'm very grateful for everything that I had, that I could be there for my mom. And, uh, you know, and that I could still have, again, because the education that they sacrificed and gave me, that I can have the liberty of being my own business person, being at home, not having to do a nine to five, that I could still create the life that I want to live and still be there for them. And I guess it's kind of like the opposite of you when you have children that you want to be able to be at home and raise your children and not have to like choose between work and raising your children that you can have both worlds. So it's like the opposite where I could still have the both worlds and I could be there for them and not, you know, and still be able to create what I want to create. So very grateful. Can't complain. Really can't. <laughs> so did you guys um, have any questions? Oh, here's one. Yeah. If oh. you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Bali, 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 Bali. Bali? Mm -hmm. Bali or um, Chiang Mai, Thailand. Have you been to either of those places? No. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, but I do know if I retired, I do know my soul will be retired in Hawaii, Maui, Hawaii. It's so expensive in Hawaii. Yeah, it's so expensive. No? <laughs> I, I think, I honestly, if there is such thing as a former life, I must have been a Hawaiian princess from another lifetime because I had every time I go there I cannot explain but my soul feels at home yeah when I'm, when I'm in Hawaii I thought, remember I thought you were Hawaiian do you remember that yeah. conversation we had yeah and and I had this amazing photo I went to a uh, conference in Maui Hawaii 2011 I was there for 10 days and I was on this uh, catamaran and we were going around the island of Maui so I decided to do the uh you know Titanic king of the world thing so I was in the front of the the caravan, you know, the, I mean, the catamaran doing the, you know, the Titanic yeah. thing. And I had, it was a couple and there were photographers and they came from two different angles. Okay. And they both took pictures of me, two different cameras, two different angles, but I had the same orb where my dress was. And if you were to really look at it, it literally has a face of an indigenous person there. From two separate angles. Wow. It's freaking wild. I'm like, Ooh, and it literally, like, it looks like a Hopi Indian, a Hopi Indian yeah, yeah, yeah. with the thing. It was a Hopi Indian. And I go, mm, I must have, I don't know. And I said, how could that possibly be? B? It, two separate cameras. It was daytime. So sometimes orbs, people say, is because of um, dust. Sometimes they see dust in the camera at night. Some kind of reflection, yeah. Or, or, or like uh, maybe a water, like because it's water, you know, maybe like a speck of water on the lens. Mm -hmm. But the chances of these two people are two separate angles taking photos of me, of, of me and the same wild, wild. Yeah. But so do, do you have those photos? I have it. Yes, I do. I do. Okay. I can share with you what I did. Yeah. So I'm like, look at it. Like you see the face, the eye, like. So the spirit, I don't know. But when I go there, I go by Leilani, Princess Leilani. That's when I go there, I go by Leilani. Leilani. So, Leilani, Princess Leilani. Okay. And so I've been, I've been there for conferences. I've been there for a wedding. I've been there for just leisure. I think I've been there for like four, four times. And every time I go, I, I have my Hawaiian and I hula my way. I do my hula. <laughs> and I'm Princess Leilani when I go to Hawaii. So if, if, if anything, oh, yeah. I wish I had some luau music to cue right now. Yeah. <laughs> I could do the whole, you know, I could do the whole, I guess so pass Hawaiian comes naturally to me, but yeah. But if it's, yeah, that's what I would be. Well, that was what a good question, Christina. Any other questions? All right. Let's see here. Make sure I got to have some questions. Come on y'all. All right. What does this mean? Brenda, don't dream crush. Don't, oh, don't crush her dream about going to Hawaii when I'm saying it's expensive. <laughs> you're right. You're right, Jax. I should not dream crush. That was you know? bad, 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 bad. Bad. <laughs> yeah. Jax will call anybody out. Jax like that. Be nice. Play nice in the sandbox. 
I was like, Jack's dream crush. What is she doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no other questions? Come on, okay, y'all. I'll remember Don't that, Jax. I will never dream crush again. And if I ever catch you doing it, I'm going to call you. <laughs> <laughs> What's it there? You might find a sugar daddy. No, I don't need no sugar daddy. <laughs> oh, uh, but wouldn't. No, I don't need to find a sugar daddy. Sugar daddy. <laughs> Do I look like someone that needs a sugar daddy, Jack? No. I... no, you don't need one, but. No, I would not want one either. No, 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 no. No, I'd rather have a, like a cupcake. A cub cake. What's <laughs> That's the a difference? Cake. Not a sugar daddy. A cupcake? Cub. Cub. Cub cake. A younger man with an older oh, woman. Oh, cub. cub. Like cougar. Cub. Coug yeah, cub. but I did once. That was it. It was fun. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> but if it wasn't, I wouldn't do no sugar daddy. I'll probably go, I'll probably a little cub cake. But other than that, no. Cub cake. <laughs> oh, that's a novel idea. Yeah, cub cake. Okay, I'm not going to. I'm not going to dream, whatever, what'd she say? Dream. Dream crush. Yeah, I'm dream not going to dream crush and say something like, cupcakes never have enough money. <laughs> no, <laughs> you because, because the thing is, I already have the money, so it's not like, <laughs> I mean, look at Jennifer Lopez, okay? Jennifer Lopez is 50, and A-Rod is 43. He's younger than her. And yes, he has his career and everything, but she has it all, so it's like, when you have everything, you just don't, you know, it's like this. But it was just fun. Good the other day, didn't she? <laughs> she was amazing, yeah. She, but it's like, it's like I said, it's just, you know, we all go through that in our lives. So I had that episode, it was done. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> no sugar daddy. I love this conversation. Okay. Yeah, Aaron, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, Robin, are you hanging in there with us? This is kind of like, like that, like devolving into like girl talk here. <laughs> Make sure you well, let's, go, let's, go for another question. let's go for another question because we say, Who do you say? I love it. Let's go for another question. Okay, another Anybody question. Else? Here we go. Ready, ready, and... go. Let the spirit throw me a bone question. What's that one? Which God do you most connect with? The all God Almighty, the one and only, the spirit, the universe, everything. The all that is. The all that is. There was and ever will be. Yeah. All right. That's my universe. Yeah, next. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> what does it say? What? what? Uh, Describe a what? Little, 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 little typo. Describe here. a what? Oh, this is the one I wanted to come up, actually. Describe oh. a recent experience when Spirit threw you a bone. Yes. This, and I was ready for this question. All right. So I would say Spirit along with my mom connection with my mom right. okay so my mom transitioned in 2018 and we made a pact and i said to her mom if there's ever such thing you know if there is another word if you needed to communicate with me it's either gonna i go please let it be white feather show me a white feather or white wings of a white bird and um then she goes yes butterflies too sweetie i'm like okay butterflies too so she was she trans she transitioned at the house so i was with her and it was beautiful, you know, as that she ushered me into this world and I was honored to transport her and transition her to the outer world, right? And the next day, there were two white birds in the backyard because her sister had passed five months before. And so it was almost as if symbolically her sister came for her mm -hmm. and she was confirming the next day that mm -hmm. job well done and she was free. So I used to always take her around this lake and we would, we would go walk around, well, you know, her little car, walk, walk around the lake and we'd always try to find some white feathers, it, so, you know, just to see if we would find any white feathers. So I was walking by myself, of course, she's passed already. I walked by myself and very rare, I just look around. And this one time I, 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 I walked and it literally felt like, it looked like a bird must have exploded with white feathers and that's all was left. It was just like this big pile of white feathers. And I always think like, you know, when a feather appears, an angel was near, you know? So, I, and immediately I thought of my mom and I, and I saw, but it was so many white feathers and I'm like, it was like confirmation. Like, oh, she's, she's definitely trying to get, trying to get my attention. But she used to always say, look at the floor, look at the ground. Always look at the ground, always look at the ground. So for some reason, when I was walking and I saw this burst of white feathers, I literally heard this voice saying, Look at the ground, look at the ground, look at the ground. 
And I walked like about maybe 20, 25 steps, $20 bill on the floor. <laughs> and my mother never carries five singles or tens. She only carried $20 bills. And literally <laughs> I just saw the, the feathers, felt confirmation, instantly heard the voices, look at the ground. And a few steps later, a $20 bill. Randomly on the floor. She left you a tip. <laughs> so, <that> was, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so uh, time's up. So that was my like, wow, a really cool experience when spirit threw me a bone to say, "I'm here for you, sweetheart." You know, and here's your twenty dollar bill from heaven. <laughs> Go buy the lotto. <laughs> <laughs> really? She always want me to buy the lotto all the time, so I would buy scratch offs and always win. So that was okay. the story. <laughs> Okay, so Robin is here. We didn't we didn't scare him away with all of our gold talk there. So oh, okay. That's good. Any other questions? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're coming up on the hour, guys. Yes. Um, so, wanted to remind you that on the 28th is the full moon, guys. Yeah. And it's a full moon in Leo. And I want to know in the comments... Who actually took notes last time we talked about all these moon events? Because remember, we went through where the new moon was falling in your chart, if we knew your rising sign, and the full moon was falling in your chart, and a bunch of other astrology stuff. But who in the comments, let me know if you remember what we said about where the full moon was going to fall in your chart, if if you were there that week, but I think most of my regulars were there. Um, cause we don't have time to go through them all, but we could take a quick look. Five minutes. You ready? Go for it. Okay. Yeah. Mm. All right. So who do we have here? Um, what's your rising sign again? Scorpio? Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpio and Leo. Scorpio. Scorpio rising. There you go. So the full moon falls in your fourth house of family. Oh. And daddies. Mm hmm. On the 28th. Mm hmm. And daddy's a Leo. <laughs> Interesting. And the moon yeah. is a Leo. Huh. Daddy's a Leo. I know. To keep us apprised. Yeah. So anybody with Scorpio rising out there? But I don't think Scorpios and Leos go very well <laughs> or too much alike. <laughs> Why? Because they're two fixed signs? Probably, yeah. My dad and I were just, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, that's, we can't know. oversimplify astrology, right? I know. All right, so Sag true. rising. This is, this is Julie. Sag rising. There you go. All right, Julie, third house, uh, no, ninth house, ninth house of big ideas and learning and foreign travel. So you plan on going anywhere, girl? <laughs> no one's planning on going anywhere now. Third, ninth house. So that's foreign travel, ninth house, travel around town, third house. It's also siblings, communication of all types, foreigners. Okay, there you go, Sag rising. What do we got here, uh, Robin? We got Libra. Where's the Libra full moon? There it is. It's in our fifth house. No, our eleventh house of um, friends and groups and organizations and hopes and wishes. That's for Libra rising. And what else we got? Um, who else do we have? Uh, Aaron, Aaron, remind me. Aren't you Scorpio rising? What What is your rising sign again, Aaron? Who else am I missing here? Taurus rising. I know I should do because Kathleen is Taurus rising. And there we go. Taurus rising. There you go, Kathleen. So this full moon is in your fourth house as well. No, 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 wait, wait, Patty, your full moon was in your 10th house of career and ah! profession and stuff like that. Okay. The energy zone. The right, energy I, zone. I was looking at the sun. Yeah, no, so the full moon for 
Taurus rising, Kathleen is um, fourth house of home and family and roots and real estate and all that kind of stuff. Ancestry. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Who else am I missing here? Um, I can go through it. Pisces rising. That would be both Janet and Rob. Where is my Pisces full moon? Robert was asking me if Patty's a Leo. No, I'm not a Leo. I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> Why isn't this showing up here? The tail. Scorpio. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get Pisces to show up, but it's not. Let me see here. Okay. There it is. Okay, so Pisces full moon in your sixth house of work and toil, guys. Work and toil. Work environment. Also health. Health. Sixth house of work and toil and health. So take care of yourself on 28th, guys. 28th is this full moon. Yeah. All right, did I miss anybody? Bye. Jax, we don't know your rising sign. Um, got Kathleen. Got Janet. Got Robin, got Rob, got Julie first. Aaron, Aaron, Scorpio rising, just from, I don't know why I can't remember. <laughs> uh, Scorpio, yep. Yeah. Okay, all right, so that was a quick little reminder, guys, about the, about the full moon. So let us go back here. Oh, go ah! away. Go away. <laughs> Hold on. Go away. <laughs> there she is. There she is. <laughs> What's an overlay, you know? What's an overlay? That's, That's the way. matter with the overlay. Awesome. Pat, thank you so much for coming on Spirit Through Me Bone. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you so much for asking me and inviting me. I had a wonderful time. It was really fun. I knew it would be fun. That's exactly. Yes. And I hope everyone else had fun. I hope everyone else enjoyed the girl talk conversation and being human and Been enjoying the, the journey yeah pretty cash tonight but it's cash yeah hey you know oh so don't forget guys next week is carmen cocktails me and the rev <laughs> and the rev oh yeah last time carmen steampunk. cocktails steampunk steampunk, <laughs> steampunk tarot. tarot okay yeah so it looks like the guys were the enchanted ones are showing their oh you're yeah. welcome Aaron. thank you for showing up i'm glad you enjoyed you're welcome janet beautiful and exciting thank you janet <laughs> awesome evening thank you robert <laughs> that's rob rev rob rob rev rob yeah rev i remember rob. him with the little yeah rev i remember rob. him uh -huh. okay all right miss patty i am going to say goodbye to you but we are going to open the circle together. So don't go okay. anywhere, but I got to okay. switch my camera view and all that kind of stuff. So you'll close still it be together. here, but we'll go ahead and say goodbye now. And thank awesome. you again. Yes. And you know, I'll be seeing you again soon. Absolutely. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, guys, this is your reminder. Please subscribe. If you enjoy Spirit Throw Me a Bone, you enjoy when we bring folks like Patty on. If you enjoy Karma and Cocktails, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and click that little bell and like and follow on Facebook, all that good stuff. Thank you for joining us tonight. We got to talk to Patty and just have a little bit of fun, a little bit of girl talk, a little bit of spiritual talk, you know, just had a good time. And I really appreciate again, Patty joining us. So now it's time guys to open the circle. And let us get started on that. Well, here we go around again and back we come. Still here I am. This is non random. Tandem or
Okay, I'm all tangled up with my microphone here. I'm just going to talk loud. Okay, guys, so we're going to go in the opposite direction and we're going to open the circle. Gifted right from by the earth that is her body. Thank you, Noi. To help extract the poison from our oh. medicine heart. Oh. Go away. By the waters of her living room. Thank you, Quest. I just want to thank you for doing your work. By the fire of her bright spirit. Thank you, South. I promise you that I'll always And by the air that is her breath. Thank you, East. As above, so below, the circle is open. So in all our motion, we've made a way. Our Thank you again for joining us tonight, guys. Don't forget, next week, Carmen Cocktails, same enchanted time, same enchanted channel. Until then, be well, be true, be sacred, be you. Springs from the same flame I do, and as you take your leap, just know that fall, I fly into the deep, I'm right here. Make it through.